Hi, welcome to today's video. My name's Paul. So just a short video today. It's going to be one of those videos where you watch me uh, doing some painting, but I'm just going to be rambling on about um, a topic. So the topic this week is why people buy art. And I guess there are different reasons for people spending money on art. Uh, in some cases, it's just they like the painting or the sculpture or you know, whatever piece of art it is, whatever kind of art it is. In some cases, people are buying art um, because they like or they're interested in the artist in some way. So they may collect art produced by a particular artist or they may support a few different artists. And there are some people, of course, who will buy art for both of those reasons. And they're both very valid reasons for uh, buying art, I suppose. There are other um, situations where it's more difficult to see why people are spending money on art. And I'm using the word art quite loosely this time. So I'll give a couple of examples. One of them was from this year, 2021. And it was an Italian uh, artist. Specifically, I think he's a, a sculptor. But he does have a habit of producing, I think he calls them non-physical sculptures, um, which is a fancy way of saying uh, he creates nothing. They're not invisible sculptures. They're not made out of some high-tech material that is invisible to the human eye or something. He's selling, he's creating nothing. Um, for example, one of his non-physical sculptures was created in Milan. And basically what he did was to get some white, I don't know, duct tape or something, and just put the duct tape down onto the street in a sort of square shape. And he called it something like Buddha in contemplation. And there was this sort of implied idea that if you can't see the sculptures because you're not refined enough, you're not educated enough, you're not creative enough, only the special people can see the sculpture. Which of course reminds me of the story, the Hans Christian Andersen story of the emperor's new clothes where the emperor's walking around completely naked thinking that he's wearing these very fine clothes. So another case was the guy who sold the bananas, um, again using duct tape, but this time with a bunch of bananas and he took one of the bananas and taped it to a wall and sold it. In fact, I think he sold several of them in the end for about a quarter of a million US dollars. Which, if nothing else, has to set a record for maybe the most expensive bananas ever. So in those cases, why are those people buying that art? I think from the artist's point of view, is it's a kind of a stunt. Um, it's a publicity stunt. Uh, many artists know that if they want to actually be able to make a living, and certainly if they want to become rich as an artist, <clears throat> they have to sort of do these publicity stunts. They have to attract attention, the media's attention and things. It's like the, uh, the Banksy painting where it was sold at auction, and just after it was sold, it was sort of, it shredded itself. These are all just publicity stunts really. So from the artist's point of view, I can sort of understand why they're doing it. But from the pe point of view of the people who are spending money on these things, it's more difficult for me to understand why they are doing it. Maybe it's all relative. Um, the person who bought the nothing sculpture paid, I think, 18,000 US dollars for it. To me, 18,000 US dollars is a very, very large amount of money. I mean, for me, it may as well be 18 billion dollars. I, I can't afford either. 
But for some people, eighteen thousand dollars is maybe loose change. So yeah, there is understandable reasons why people buy art, and then there's these other cases. Some people, maybe more cynical people, say that some of this sort of shenanigans that's happening in the art world is basically money laundering. Um, there are fewer restrictions and checks on who's buying what and how money is moving around within the art world than within many other financial markets. So there's always stories about money laundering going on within the art world. But anyway, this is a um, scan of today's painting, uh, the final painting. I was trying to get a feeling of sort of open space and sort of summer day. So I was happy with the, the final result. Okay, well, if you made it this far, thank you for listening to me and watching the video. And hopefully see you in the next video.